guys, how's it going? As you can tell, today I'm feeling very relaxed and I'm just chilling today. So I thought I would do just a really fun video and test out Rimmel's new matte lipsticks. They've brought out nine shades and they're the only ones, are they, what are they called? The only one matte lipsticks. They've got nine colours and they are stunning. They have some really, really up my street colours, like really up my street colours in this collection. Wow, okay. So I thought, while my hair was a mess and I'm feeling very chill, I could just do a nice, fun little video. And I'm really excited to try these. You already see that a few of these shades are very me. I can. So the first colour I'm starting off with is the lighter shade, and this is the shade Salute number 200. As you can see, it's a really pretty uh, light to mid nude and it's very pink toned. It's a really, really pretty shade. The texture of these lipsticks are very easy to apply. It's really smooth. It's definitely, definitely a matte finish, but it doesn't feel horrible and matte. It doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick where it sets. It feels very, it feels creamy, but it feels like it will last a really long time. And I really, really like this shade. One of the more wearable colors and I'm a massive, massive fan. And this is what it looks like on the lips. Okay, so the shade that I'm wearing right now is the shade Trendsetter number 700. And this is gorgeous. As you can see, it's a nude shade, but it's like a brownie toned nude. It's just a wee, a wee, wee wearable. <laughs> it's just a really wearable nude shade. Again, really nice formulation. Applied really nicely, really evenly. Also, the fact that it's a round bullet is actually quite handy when you're trying to make a nice crisp line because it's it isn't like a curved edge that can bleed, it's more just like whoop, whoop. I feel like I'm very bright, that's a bit better. But I think that this would be the perfect lip if you just wanna throw something on or if you're wearing like a dark smoky eye and you don't want something to look too crazy, this is just a really nice wearable shade. Okay, this currently is my favorite. This is the shade High Flyer 610 and this is amazing. This is a rosy nude, mid-toned rosy nude, like so wearable. I think perfect for, to be honest, any season, but particularly the kind of autumn time because it's like a transition to the more plummy, kind of um, darker shade. This is so perfect for an everyday wearable makeup look, like kind of like what I'm wearing today, just something really soft on the eyes, really blushy cheeks and then just a really rosy pink lip and this is amazing I love this color I think this is gonna go in my handbag okay this next shade is 110 leader of the pink and this is starting to step a little bit out of my comfort zone I'm very much more into the more browns and the nudes I mean I like a pink nude but this is starting to get a little bit brighter this is still extremely wearable mind you <sighs> All of my friends are frigging sending me pictures, <laughs> driving me insane. It's a really pretty kind of bubblegum pink, but it's still like a daytime bubblegum pink. I've definitely seen a hotter and brighter pink, especially if you're a pink kind of person, if you enjoy wearing pink lipstick, I think this is a really nice one. Super creamy on the lips. At the moment, all four that I've swatched so far all have really nice color payoff, pigmentation, formula, etc. So yeah, again, this is Leader of the Pink and it's super duper pretty. I think if I was gonna go for a pink, this is the kind of pink I would probably lean towards. Okay, so this next color is 120 Call the Shots and I am really into this color. Um, it's actually a pink, which ironically I was just saying I'm not a massive fan of pink on me, but this is definitely more of a red based pink and it's not got any like white pigment in it so it's not super bright. It's a really, really wearable mid-toned reddish pink and it's so pretty. I think it looks really nice and fresh. Um, for those of you who are currently in spring summer, I think this is a really beautiful colour for spring. I just think it's the kind of thing where it will just brighten up your whole face if you just have really minimal makeup on and then maybe even put a bit on your fingers and rub it on your cheeks and put it on your lips. I just think this will be a really nice um, spring fresh shade and again super creamy, super easy to apply, really pigmented, really even, really impressed really really like this color what is it call the shots 120. okay this next shade is 750 look who's talking and this is 
a brown new this has got a bit of red in it it's a red toned brown which is really really nice it's something a little bit different at the moment the browns that are in fashion are quite neutral to cool so it's quite a nice change it's something a little bit more wearable i'd say the red might also be coming out a bit more because obviously i just have pink lipstick on so just keep that in mind i really like this color this is definitely a lovely autumnal color really nice rich kind of mahogany brown it's so pretty and i think this would go really nicely with like a deep warm brown smoky eye and then this Mm, there was a bug on my camera. So this shade here is called Run The Show 800. And as you can see on my lips, this is a purple and it is so cool. Um, I went through a massive purple phase where I bought loads of purple lipsticks and I feel like I would have loved this. It reminds me of Max Violetta. I think it might be a little bit lighter than Violetta, but if you're looking for a slightly more affordable option, this might be nice. It's got quite a bit of pink in it, but it's also very blue toned. Again, with really simple natural makeup, I think this is actually quite wearable if you're into bright shades. If you're used to wearing bolder lips, this is actually a really nice quite wearable way of wearing something a little bit more out there. Again, really soft, really creamy, and to be honest with you, I've now swatched seven lipsticks, taken them off, reapplied them, and my lips still feel really comfortable, which is so refreshing, because sometimes when I do videos like this, my lips need to be bathed in like, lip conditioner afterwards but the minute my lips feel super duper comfortable and i'm not having any problems so that's good just thought i'd show you they also come off really easily but not like in a transfer kind of way like that okay so is it filming yes so this shade here is take the stage number 500 and I really like this colour. It's kind of like a classic red. It's got a bit of pink in it, which makes it a little bit more wearable. It's a really nice, bright red. It's kind of like a classic red. I feel like so many people could pull off this colour. One thing that I've realised about these also is they haven't been transferring onto my teeth when I talk. I haven't even had to check and I'm not worrying about that, which is good. I'm a big fan of this colour. So, so pretty. This is super duper creamy and... I think this might be my go-to red next time I wear one. And here we have the final colour. This is the Matte Factor number 810. This is a gorgeous light plum. Like, it's a wearable dark autumnal shade. It's definitely for someone who wants to try out dark lipsticks, but doesn't quite want to go for cyber from MAC, so wants to try something a little bit deeper, a little bit autumnal. This is beautiful. Again, really easy to apply, super duper opaque and smooth, really comfortable. I don't know how many times I can say that, but this colour is absolutely stunning. I would say this is definitely one to go for if you want something nice and wintry. So I really love this shade. Again, this is the matte factor. The names of these are really, really cute. I really like how they're named. Okay everybody, so those are all nine of the new lipsticks from Rimmel, the only one matte lipsticks I believe is their name. Um, they kindly sent them to me, this video isn't sponsored by them, but I just thought I'd show you guys the shades because they're really affordable, I believe they're about £6. They're really good quality for their price, really really comfortable. They just have a really great formulation, really good matte lipsticks and I really do recommend them. I think a few of those are going to go in my makeup bag so if you guys are interested in these lipsticks i'll obviously link them down below for you and let me know which one was your favorite in a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you like lip swatch videos because i will happily do more and if you do like them then definitely recommend different ranges and lines that you would like me to swatch because i'm a bit of a lipstick addict i love lipsticks so definitely let me know and i hope you have the best day and i'll see you in my next video goodbye